Lesson two. Okay, this investigation business, I don't really want to do. Let's start with class example one. And before we do that, I'll give you a little notes on the top of this page. So we got a little title there on the second page of lesson two, adding and subtracting radicals. Just put a little note here. It's like It's just like in polynomials where you do like terms. It's exactly like that. So for example, if you had x plus y plus 2x plus 3y, what would the answer to this polynomial be? How many x's are there? 1 and 2 make 3x's and how many y's? 4y's. And it's identical for radicals. But it has to do with how do you identify if you have a like radical? It's bolded there. What you need is the same, and this word you may or may never remember, radicand. It's just the number inside the house. The little symbol. The number inside has to be the same. So for example, root 2 plus root 2 is? No. This is no different than x plus x. What's x plus x? 2x, not x squared. That's x times x. x plus x is 2x because you have two of them. What's Okay, let's boil it down even simpler. Apple plus apple. You got apple and another apple. How many apples you got? You got two apples. x plus x, how many x's you got? Two x's. Root 2 plus root 2, how many root 2's you got? You got two of them. How do we write that? Just like we put 2x. 2 root 2. Okay, please don't overcomplicate this. These are just an object. Root 2 is just an object. Root 2 is such a bizarre thing. Actually, uh, this is every time I talk about root 2. But you know Pythagorean, this famous guy, famous Greek? I never heard of him. I guess like one of his, uh, it might have even been him. It's an old story. Like they committed suicide because of this number. They jumped off the the ship into the water over root 2 Why? because it's not rational. Well, they're not rational exactly so the Greeks thought everything had to do with rationals like the the way that music works uh, harmonies like everything they thought was had to do with fractions they like fractions were like gods to the Pythagoreans it's like a cult you guys know what cults are oh, yeah. so it's like an odd a weird cult in the Pythagorean culture or in the Greek culture they're called the Pythagoreans and they hated this idea of root 2. So root 2 is weird. It's got a decimal that goes on forever. It's bizarre. So it's just an object though. No different than if you say it's x. So let's just call it root 2. So what if I put a root 2 plus root 2 plus another root 2? How many you got? That's all it is. Okay. So right here, I think uh, this is what some of you want to do, right? Oh, 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 scary, right? Do not do that. That's bad for business. Okay, you'll get fired if you do that. Okay? It's like showing up to work late or under the influence. It just you're going to get fired. This is showing up to math late. You know what I mean? This is no good. You'll get fired. So what do we got here? Root 80 needs to get reduced. Root 20 needs to get reduced. So how are 80, how is 80 going to get reduced? 4 works, but there's a better one. Good. And if you don't know your times tables, you've got to be quick on that calculator. You've got to be like lightning quick with those fingers. So 16 times 5, right? The 16 comes out as a 4. Do you guys agree? I think that one's okay, right? 16 times 5. Next one, root 20. Root 20 is? 4 times 5. There's still a subtraction in between. Now this time the 4 comes out as a 2. So this is no different than 4x minus 2x. What's 4 apples minus 2 apples? 2 apples. So what's 4 root 5 minus 2 root 5? Just 2 root 5. I think that's a good way to think about it. They're just objects. No different than an apple. No different than an x. 
Okay, so those were squares. Now we're into cubes. So now a different set of numbers are in our head. For cubes, uh, 8, and then 27, and then 54. Those are the, no, 54, 8, 27, and then 64. So 27, no, so it's got to be 8, right? Okay, so 8 times 10. The 8 will come out as a, so 2, 2 cube root 10. Now I'm assuming that the next one's going to have a 10 in it, just because I'm kind of wise with my, with my examples. So how does 27 and 10, that makes sense to everybody? How does the 27 come out? Cube root of 27 is 3, because 3 times 3 times 3. Now 2 apples plus 3 apples is 5 apples. Done deal. Remember, it's multiplication when it's written like a mixed, mixed radical, multiplication. 5 times the cube root of 10. Now, if you were to type this in the calculator, 5 times cube root 10, and if you were to type the original question in the calculator, it will have the exact same decimals matching, the exact same irrationality, so that's like a check. Did I do it right? Just put the first thing in, put the last thing in, and you're pretty much good after that. The only other problem is maybe you didn't uh, choose the highest factor, but let's take a look at these ones. Okay, so 27, is that one got a factor in it? Nine, right? Squares? Nine? Nine times three, right? Sometimes when you don't have those times tables, it's kind of hard. How does the 9 come out? 9 comes out as a 3. Multiplied by 7, you got 21. Now let's work on the middle one. 75. This one's easy because it ends in 5. 25, yeah. 25 times 3. So I always like to s just write that first step down. I know Zahara doesn't. She's like, it's in my head. But if you write down the step, at least this first step, it keeps you organized, okay? Especially if there's multiple terms and stuff, you know, you might forget what's in your head. Okay, 25 comes out as a... 25 comes out as a 5, and then scales the 3 to get 15. Now, this 147, to be honest, I have no clue. I have no clue. She just gave it away. She's ruined the surprise for me. You know it too? Divide, why would you divide by 3? Three? 3 is not a square number. Oh, someone over there has got some test wiseness. The first two terms have 3, so maybe this one has 3 as a factor, right? So do 147 divided by 3, what are you guys getting? 49? That's a square number though, right? If I didn't have that kind of test wiseness though, I would start with 4. 4 is my first square. 147 divided by 4, doesn't work. Next one, 147 divided by 9, probably doesn't work. 147 divided by 16, until you get to one that works. 49 is the first one that works. It's 49 times 3. The 49 comes out as a... 7 and scales the 2 to become 14. Now you have 21x minus 15x plus 14x. All you got to do is in your, in your calculator, put those coefficients together. 21 minus 15 plus 14. Well, negative 15 and 40 and negative 1, so this is 20. Oh my gosh, these next ones look nuts, and then we're almost done. Lots of time to work today. Any questions so far? They won't combine. Good question. Yeah. Yeah, the, s the square roots would go together, the cube roots would go together, yeah. Good question. So if you missed that question, I'll just put it up here. Say you had 
um, root 2 plus cube root 2. Yes, you cannot say that there's two of them, right? There's difference. So you can't, can't combine that. Good. Hi. What? What? Why? How long? I'm going to be done teaching in like 10 minutes. Can you wait 10 minutes? Sounds good. Sounds good. Those guys are very diplomatic. Future diplomats. Okay, these ones look nasty. They've got fractions in there, but we're not scared of fractions, right? Put on your big boy suit. You're not afraid of the fraction. Okay, and you're also not afraid of negatives, right? That's the junior high stuff. We got that. You know, some of you can do this hard 20-1 stuff, and then the junior high stuff you can't do. Doesn't make sense, <laughs> right? You could do the hard 20-1 stuff, and then it comes down to some fraction work, and you're like, brain explodes. Okay, <laughs> so we're doing squares. So we're on the square list. Which one's 108? Just, you know, fast fingers. 108 divided by 4, 108 divided by 16, 108 divided by 9, 108 divided by 36. There's a high one, 36? Okay, 36 times 3. Let's just uh, do the first line. Root 8, this one's really easy. 8 is the same as 4 times 2. Now 48, I bet there's a couple that work here. 4 probably works, 16 probably works. Which one are we going with? <coughs> 16? Is it 16? I need confirmation. Thank you. And 50, the one's so easy. 50. Good. 25 times 2. Okay, so we've factored. And I'll put a little note here for some of you that might have missed yesterday. Sort of like catching up, because this is, this is all we did yesterday. So you haven't really haven't missed much. So what have we done here? We factored using largest square factors. Okay? Because, for example, 48, you could have used 4. You could have used 4. But there's a better one. Right? You use the largest... Okay, so we've got them factored. Now let's simplify these radicals. The first one is 36. It comes out as a 6. Then you have a positive 6 and a negative 5. Negative 30 root 3. All right. The next one is a 4 coming out as a 2. And because there's a fraction there, I'm going to slow it down for you guys. I need to, like, uh, you guys need to go to, like, fraction therapy. I'll hold that session in East. Fraction therapy. Would that be sick? You guys can come and learn fractions with me. How's the 16 going to come out? Whoa. 16 comes out as a 4. And the 3 stays, right? And the last one, 25 comes out as a? Five. Okay. The first one we already put together, the five and six, to make 30. So now let's look at these fractions. You have three times two divided by four, which is six divided by four, which can be reduced to three halves, right? You could also do this. Divide by 2, you get 1. Divide by 2, you get 2. So it's 3 halves. Now this next one is 5 times 4, which is 20. Divided by 4, which is 5. You could just cancel the 4s too, right? 4 divided by 4 is 1. So you got 5 there. Right. Now this last one is 1 times 5 divided by 2. And 5 divided by 2 won't be able to reduce, so you leave it as 5 over 2. Now you should see some x's and some y's. In purple, you have negative 30x. In purple, you have negative 5x. Put those together. 
The purple will be all together is negative 35 whatever's in there, right? Root 3 is the common term. So those two go together because they're root 3's. Now we've got to do the um, root 2's. So what's 5 halves plus 3 halves? What's 5 apples plus 3 apples? 8 apples. What's 5 halves plus 3 halves? 8 halves, which is 4. Let me do that again. The fraction one. What's 5 apples plus 3 apples? 8 apples. What's 5 halves plus 3 halves? 8 halves. Wh how much do you have if you have 8 halves? 4. Also, if you're really not going to buy into fractions, that's okay too. You just got to be bought into technology. So on the calculator, you would do 3 halves like in a bracket plus 5 halves in a bracket and then do the math fraction thing. So if you don't want to buy into fractions, that's okay. Just be good at your calculator. The only problem with that is like if you try to go to a university and do a calculus course, they are not going to give you a graphing calculator. And there'll be fractions all over that, those courses. Fractions everywhere. Okay, so if you think you're a U of A student with calculus in mind, you've got to be good at mental math. Because they, as soon as you get there, they're like, no calculators. Sorry. Sorry. They might give you those nice ones, though. Uh, like one step down from these ones. You know those ones where it's just like, just the numbers and the plus minus. So they won't make you do arithmetic. But they won't give you any other help. Fun times, right? Oh my gosh, right? This one just looks crazy. So I'll break it down. If this looks crazy to you, you know, one piece at a time. One piece at a time. So let's work on the first term. We got a cube root 64. How is that going to work? Is that a perfect one? It doesn't work. 64 is so interesting. It's both a square and a cube. It's kind of like me. I'm a hockey player and a soccer player. I joined a soccer team this year. 64? He's so cool. He's a square and a cube. So what's the, what's the cube root of 64? 4. So you don't even have to worry about that one. That one just simplifies. 4 over 8. We'll deal with that in a second. Cube root of 375. I mean, it's not on my chart. Where's 375 on my chart? It's somewhere between 7 and 8, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So which one of those numbers before it divides it? Oh, that one's easy, right? Ends in 5. 1, 2, 5. So this is probably 1, 2, 5 times 3. Do you guys agree with this? <gasps> <gasps> Who said sure? Okay, so this next term, the third one here. Do you see how there's a 2 in the top and a 3 in the bottom? What fraction is that? Just write it. 2 thirds. That coefficient is just the fraction in front. Root, cube root 54 is in the top. <coughs> we already did 54 today. It's 27 and 2. So we'll skip over that one. And same with this last one. You have a 5 over 2 in front. And cube root 24, this one's really easy because it's such a small number, and the only perfect cube that's below it is 8. So it has to be 8. And uh, 8 goes into 24 three times. So I'm just going to circle those perfect ones, and we're going to simplify them on the way out. Okay, 4 out of 8, that's an easy fraction. That's 1 out of 2. Now, how's that 125 going to come out? As a 5? <coughs> and it's going to scale the 2 to become 10. So we have 10 cube root 3 there. The 3 stays. Now this next one. 27 is going to come out as a? And it's actually going to cancel the 3 underneath. So you're just left with 2. 
2 cube root 2. And now the 8 comes out as a 2 and cancels the 2 underneath again, and you're just left with negative 5. Now we'll circle the like terms. We got uh, some root 3s. Okay, so the 1 half and the minus 2 cube root 2, you can't do anything with them because there's no other like terms. And now in purple, what's 10 minus 5? Positive 5 cube root 3, and that one's done. Seem nasty at first, but uh, if you keep it simple and um, do one piece at a time, stay structured in your algebra, be organized, keep stuff in fractions, because then the nice stuff happened, right? The threes canceled, the twos canceled, right? That was nice. See, I'm already achieving fraction therapy with you guys. Just get rid of fractions. How would you explain things? Think about the Pythagoreans. I one guy committed suicide. Couldn't even. The irrational numbers are to the Greeks as fractions are to your generation. Okay, this one it looks uh, pretty okay. What did we talk about yesterday? What was the difference between exact value and decimal? You remember that? What did I say? What? Exact value is left in radical form, simplest, right? And decimals are your approximations with calculators, okay? So you only go to the decimal if you are requested to. Otherwise, leave it in the radicals, okay? We want the length of x. Okay, good observation. Does anybody else see how to do this? Good. Okay, a few people are saying this. So you have this, I'll just use color to help. This purple line, and if you subtract the uh, blue line, you'll get x, right? If those were just numbers, the big purple line, subtract the blue line, and you'll get this x line. People are comfortable with that? Okay, where some of you guys might break this down, like that initial step, I think 9 out of 10 of you would get that, no problem. But here's a little thing with the algebra that some of you will mess up. When you subtract, you have to subtract that whole bad boy like this. Okay? And that, especially this second sign, you guys, I bet 5 out of 10 of you would get that. Because the sign switching is like a big mistake for people. They forget. You subtract that whole business, okay? So you put it in bracket. So first step is just going to be me distributing that negative. So first step, just rewriting, distribute that negative. And like I said, that last term becomes positive. So I'll zoom in for you guys. And this is it for the class examples, and uh, you'll have lots of time to work. So that's good. Lots of time to practice. Can I do anything with that 8 root 2? So just rewrite it. Now let's try to do this stuff in one step because we don't need training wheels anymore. We're, we're, we're big boys and girls. 12. 4 and 3 is a hara. 4 comes out as a 2 by 2 is 4. What's left underneath? Oh my gosh. 27. 9 times 3, right, Zahara? It's just me and you. And Daoud. <laughs> Kidding. Everybody, what's 27? 9 comes out as a... What's a good way for us to do this? If this was maybe a, some of us that don't have the number sense. Maybe go like, okay, this is 9 times 3. Keep that in my head. Uh, okay, 9 comes out as a 3, and 3 and 5 make 15. And this one stays in there, right? Especially some of us that don't have that quick number stuff. Don't be afraid to just work in there and think. So that's a good strategy. So let's use that strategy on 18. 18 is like 9 by 2. The 9 is going to come out as a 
3, 3 and 4 are going to combine for 12, and the leftover is 2. Now I'm just going to circle my like terms. Oh, I'll color it because I'm so fancy. Whoa, I got two pluses in there. Two pluses make a plus. Bad math joke. The red. Okay, let's combine some like terms. How many root twos do we have? 20, and how many root threes do we have? Negative 11, not positive 11, right? Okay, so lots of time to work. That's it for the lesson. I'm going to walk around and help you guys. That's why I'm here.